Good morning, this is Kasturi Day. I am discussing in the few videos, previous few videos about the question answer section of the ele uh, electricity and magnetism chapter of ICC syllabus class 7. So, uh, I'll continue with that. I'll start with the name the following. Okay. So, first one is two household electric appliances with, uh, which produce light, that is bulb or TV. Four household electrical appliances, appliances which produce heat, immersion rod, toaster, hair straightener, hair dryer. Two office appliances which use electricity like computer, laser printer. Two household appliances which cause cooling effect of the electric current, air cooler, refrigerator, AC also. Then two industrial appliances which use electricity, furnaces, electric motors. Four appliances which do not work with electricity. Pedal power washer, powered washer, pedal powered washer, radiational cooling refrigerator. Device used to open or close the circuit at desired switch. Device that converts electrical energy to electric, I mean elect chemical energy to electrical energy, that is the cell. Magnetic magnet made by using electric current is electromagnet. Terminals represented by the longer line in the electric cell, that is positive terminal. Scientists who discovered the magnetic effect of electric current is Hans Christian Oystered. Sign okay, name two appliances that use electromagnets, electric bell, electric motor. Name any two conductors, iron, graphite. Now, let me start with the short and long questions. Okay. So, first one. Why are free electrons called so? Atoms of most metals contain very loosely bound negatively charged electrons in their outermost orbit. We know when we studied atoms, we know that atoms is made up of neutrons, protons and electrons. Neutrons and protons, they remain in the nucleus and electrons are negatively charged which are, which orbit round the uh, atoms nucleus, which orbit round the nucleus and the positively charged uh, uh, substance is the uh, proton and neutron is neutral charged. So, Electrons which are negatively charged, which are uh, in the outermost orbits, which are uh, uh, roaming around in the orbits of around the nucleus, okay, the, uh, the nucleus, these nucleus, I mean these electrons are uh, loosely bound and which remain the outermost orbit, they, their attachment to the nucleus is most weak. Okay, so these electrons can be knocked out easily and that's why they are known as free electrons. Okay, now second question, define 1 ampere. 1 ampere current is said to be flowing across a point if 1 coulomb of charge flows through it in 1 second. Okay, so 1 ampere current is what? It is the 1 coulomb of charge which is flowing across a point through uh, 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 which flows through a point in one second. Okay, that is known as one ampere. So, one ampere is equal to one coulomb by one second. Define the terms electrical resistance, the property of material due to which it opposes the flow of current through it in is known as electrical resistance. It's the property of a material which obstructs the current flow through it. That is known as electrical resistance. Why are electromagnets also called temporary magnets? Electromagnets are produced when electric currents are flowing. Electric current is passed through a wire which is wound round a soft iron core or steel. Okay. Now, but when the electric current stops, when the current is flowing, when the current flow is stopped, Okay, then what happens? The core, that iron core, uh, it uh, loses its magnetism. It gets demagnetized. Okay, so that time, what happens? Uh, so, uh, again when the current flows, it again gets magnetized. So, it can reverse its process. 
that is why it is known as temporary magnet okay if it had uh, this magnetism if it have retained it even if the current had stopped then it would have been permanent magnet but as is as it is losing its magnetism as soon as the current is stopping flow stop uh, current flow is stopped so that is why it is temporary magnet okay what do you understand by primary cells primary cells are those which can be used only once because the chemicals in them they are used up completely when they are uh, when they are used and they cannot be reused they are dead that is why they are primary cells that is for example voltaic cell leclanchy cell daniel cell these are all primary cells then why are dry cells called so because the chemicals stored in them they are in the they are not in the liquid form they are in the form of moist spaced so they will not spill any liquid out of it so that is why they are known as dry cells what happens to a glowing torch bulb when the circuit is closed or open when the circuit is closed the bulb will glow when the circuit is open the bulb will switch off the bulb will not glow next is why is nichrome used for making heating elements of heater and toaster a nichrome as nichrome has typical resistors okay that is nichrome offers appreciable resistance to the flow of electric current that is why they uh, uh, the nichromes are used in heaters or toasters and heaters and toasters they require more heating okay so uh, this nichrome is used then write the properties of magnet the magnets have two properties one is attractive and one is directive property what is attractive property attractive property of a magnet is that a magnet has a property uh, when small pieces of iron it attracts small pieces of iron towards it this is the attractive property of the magnet and the attraction is maximum towards the poles at the poles it is the attraction is maximum and towards the center the attraction reduces so this is the attractive property of the magnet and directive property what happens if a magnet is suspended in a silk thread on a from a wooden stand we'll, we will see that magnet swings for some time and then it finally comes to rest in a north south direction this is the directive property of a magnet now explain the construction and working of an electric bell with a label diagram so for this uh, electric bell we need a horseshoe magnet okay electromagnet which we need a horseshoe i soft iron which is horseshoe shaped soft iron which is to be wound round by an electric wire excuse me it has a armature it has a, a armature is attached to a hammer uh, uh, which uh, which is uh, slightly away from a gong okay so uh, when the uh, the hammer will hit the gong it will, will produce a sound okay now the armature is attached to or it is connected to a spring with an adjustable screw and this uh, screw and the spring is connected by a wire which is attached to a battery and this uh, soft iron core is wound round and uh, wound round by an uh, wire also and this is also connected to the switch so when the switch is on the current will flow from the positive end that is from the battery this will flow like this okay okay now this will flow like this this will what happen this will uh, make the complete circuit the switch is on current is start flowing iron core becomes magnetized see this is the uh, current flowing uh, circuit total circuit it is op it is closed circuit when the switch is closed okay when the switch is on so the iron core becomes magnetized when it gets magnetized it will 
pull this armature towards itself. When it is pulling the armature towards itself, the hammer will start hitting the comb and it will produce the sound. And when the armature is coming towards the uh, magnet, electromagnet, the contact between the spring and the armature will break. Okay, the contact with the, between the spring and the armature will break. And what will happen? The current will stop flowing. As will this will break, the current will stop flowing. This will be demagnetized. The horseshoe magnet will demagnetize and will, uh, it will uh, lose its magnetism. And uh, the armature will come to, work to re regain its place, come to its original place. Again, this current will start flowing when the switch is on. This will condition this uh, Condition will happen only when the switch is on. When you press the switch, then only the current will start flow, flowing. And uh, when this armature again uh, will come into its position, it will contact with the spring. The current will start again flowing. Okay. And this will again gain its magnetism. Again, this will attract the armature towards itself. The gong, hammer will hit the gong and it will produce the sound. Again, this circuit will break because it will, con this contact will break. The circuit will break and the current will stop flowing. And this will again get demagnetized. This will go on like this. This will uh, go on as long as you press the switch. When you, uh, if you remove your finger from the switch, if you uh, not press this, if you do not press the switch, then uh, it will remain as it is. Okay. So, this is the construction and working of the electric bell. Okay. So, I'll stop here. I'll continue with the next uh, rest of the question answers in my next video. If you have any doubt, please do write in the comment box and you can also uh, give suggestions how to improve my videos so that it can help you a lot and it will, it will uh, provide you much more help. And if you like the video, press the like button so that you, I can uh, produce more interesting videos for you. And... Uh, if you are a new viewer to my channel or not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to get the notification of my next video. And one thing I must tell you uh, that please go through the text videos which will help you to understand these question answers or the chapter or the concept of this chapter much better. You can solve more question answers, more of your doubts uh, uh, yourself only. Okay, thank you.